Hi everyone, Jimmy again from Timecode with another quick tutorial. Uh, this one we're not going to be doing any After Effects or any video editing I'm afraid. Uh, this is more of a kind of data management slash tip slash little hint that I've come across recently. Um, I was going through my filing system on my hard drive and noticed that when I did uh, right click get info on my Mac HD, um, the capacity of the drives I've got is 760 gig and I only had 80 gig left. Um, so I thought, yeah, that's, that's quite a lot of stuff to have in your, on your boot drive and your operating system, so I thought I'd better go and get rid of a load. Um, what I noticed was when I went to the, the folder that had a majority of the files, it was actually in my, my user area. But what was weird was when I right-clicked on it and did get info on the house icon, it said at the time, obviously it doesn't now because it's fixed, that I had 616 gigabytes of data um, on there. Fair enough, I'll go in here and delete some stuff that I don't need. But what was weird was when I highlighted these and did uh, get info, uh, obviously discluding this one, which is the home user area itself, if you were to add all of the amounts of the folder up, it was nowhere near the amount that it said that was in, in the folder. So for sake of argument, let's say that the folder that I had, so in my case it was my Jimmy user area, um, it was saying 616 gig, but the total of all of these folders combined was only 300 whatever gig. So probably th well, 384 gig. So there was a, almost a difference of 300 gigabytes that I was losing. Um, and I couldn't, I couldn't see it, couldn't work out how to get rid of it. So I rang Apple after going through forums and, you know, watching tutorials. Um, and typical Apple, they sorted it pretty quick, which is really cool. Uh, so I'm just going to share that with you now. So if you've got a similar issue where you've got space that you can't account for or files that are taking up space and you can't see them and um, this might just be the solution so when you're in your finder go to go go to home and you're going to want to go up to the cog up here and do show view options and at the bottom you should see show library folder um, once you've ticked that close it go to your library and you're going to see a load of folders that you previously weren't able to see. So for me, there were two folders that had, I think, nearly like 99% of the uh, files that were clogging everything up. So the first one was in uh, caches or caches. I had a ton of files in here. Um, and when I was on the phone to the guy from Apple, he said, just get rid of everything. You don't need anything that's in there. It's stored temporarily. Some programs keep them, uh, but they should be deleted. If they haven't been, get rid of them. So reluctantly, I highlighted everything and deleted. A few of the files came up with the message saying it's in use and cannot be deleted. So obviously I hit continue, continue, continue. But to give you guys some confidence, I'll go to Google, Chrome, in here, my cache. Um, I'll highlight everything, delete it, uh, empty the trash, and relaunch Chrome. And it should just go back to the last page that I was on, which was me Googling Google. Um, my account's still logged in. Everything works. It's all fine. Um, yeah. So that was reassuring that that worked. Um, the other place that I had a lot of files I didn't need was in Preferences, Adobe, and After Effects. Now, I use Creative Cloud. Um, I pay and subscribe for the latest version, obviously it keeps itself up to date. Um, and I noticed this uh, version 11, which I think is CS6, I might be wrong, but I obviously assume that I don't use it anymore given that I've got a later version on there. So in here I found that if I went to this folder, uh, another cache folder, Jimmy's iMac, blah 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 blah, I had a ton of files all here. There was I think 140 gig worth of cached stuff. Uh, so it was the same thing. Um, highlight everything. Um, in fact, let's just get rid of that one. And put it in the bin, empty it. And doing that, there was about 40,000 files and that freed up no end of space. So my, if you look down here, my, um, my free space on the drive went from 80 to 315 gig just from getting rid of these cached files. What I would say is don't be too trigger happy with deleting things like the preferences these p lists i wouldn't go and just deleting everything here personally i don't know exactly what they do uh, i was advised not to go deleting everything but anything that's cached uh, or is in a cached folder typically it sounds like it's safe to get rid of i've got rid of 
pretty much everything um, in that folder. I think these have come back since because I've either used them or my operating system has tried to use them and that's probably why they're there. But yeah, I hope that helps you guys. Um, it's certainly helped me save a good 315 gig of uh, space on my drive. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, if you've got any questions, by all means ask me. I'm not hugely technical with IT you know, troubleshooting and this kind of thing, but I thought I'd share this with you guys because it was something that really helped me out and hopefully it will help some of you out. Until next time, take care.